So check this out. For Christmas, I booked a getaway for Nicole and I to go see Neil Gaiman in Schenectady, New York. We booked a great Airbnb uh, in a very old building. It was very cool. It was in this very historic area of town. The inside was immaculate. We absolutely loved the place. It had a lot of character, a lot of charm, and the location was fantastic. It was near some very cool old stuff, some old churches, some old cemeteries. Of course, that's our thing. And it had a player piano. I'm going to stop talking so you can hear this. How cool is that? Uh, later on, we checked out uh, some of the other areas of town. There's a little Italy area. We obviously went to see Neil. That was fantastic. He's an amazing author. We checked out some of the sites uh, after hours. Schenectady is a very cool town, even after dark. And uh, we decided to go check out the little cemetery, uh, of course, after dark, that was right next to our Airbnb. The next morning, as I always do on vacations, I decided to go for a little exploration and find the nearest cafe so I could get some coffee and uh, just a very basic breakfast. And I headed out the door. As you can see, the Stockade District where we were uh, is just full of cool old buildings. I got my coffee and I got some scones headed back and decided I was going to look for a shortcut just across the lot and get back without spilling the coffee. So I find this open gate and I go through it and it leads to another cemetery. I'm thinking, cool, there's so many old cemeteries here, so many old churches. This is the coolest place ever. After I finished my coffee, we were just kind of bumming around the Airbnb waiting to get ready and I decided to check out some Ancestry.com because I knew that I had some ancestors that lived in the Schenectady area a very long time ago. We're talking 1700s, 1800s. You can imagine my surprise when I discovered one of them or more was buried in that cemetery. This is the view outside my window and there's the cemetery. Wild, right? So we decide we're going to go check it out. We don't even have to really put on anything other than PJs, we're just looking around here. I check out one and Nicole checks out the other. We're scouring for names. Of course, half of these headstones are decayed. Then we find one with my family name on it, Thornton. This is like genealogy striking gold. Never in a million years would I have imagined that one of my ancestors' graves is literally a stone's throw from where I'm staying. This is fun. I get to record this last part during a thunder and lightning storm. So the next thing I did, obviously, is I went to a local bookstore and decided I was going to check out a local history book because I know that local bookstores are a gold mine for information. And sure enough, this index, I've got a ton of stuff to look up, uh, which is very exciting for me. I'm sure there's like five of you out there who are equally dorked out by genealogy stuff like this. I just love being able to connect stuff that I see online with real world records and really create a story about the people who are responsible for me being here. This is just wild for me. Without these people, I wouldn't exist. And here are their stories online and in print. You can see the listing for James right here and his daughter. Ancestry, James, his daughter. And the cool thing about this is you can actually see DNA lines now in Ancestry. So you can actually track exactly how he is related to me. You've got this real world record of exactly what he did in life. So this is his record of fighting in the Revolutionary War. 
She remembered her father taking a chest containing the papers relating to the farm and some other things of value and concealing them in the woods for safety, but that notwithstanding this, they were destroyed, causing him to suffer considerable loss of property. She remembered also that frequently her mother and the children spent the night concealed in the woods for fear of being molested. I'm obviously back home right now. I feel like I need to go back, maybe armed with a little bit more research at home. I know there's another cemetery in town where a lot more of my family is buried. It's actually just outside of the city proper. This was really the tip of the iceberg. I did not expect to find this information. I, like I said, I knew I had family there. Um, I didn't know I'd be making connections immediately that day. I think what this means is I'm going to be posting more genealogy content because this is really getting me excited about this again. I just did my DNA genealogy results through Ancestry not too long ago and I got those results back and that really just started a new enthusiasm for this stuff. I've got um, pretty far back in my genealogy and my family history um, and I've got some new research materials and I'm excited. So, expect more. I'm just going to keep on researching, and I'm going to probably have to take the train back there one of these days, check out another Airbnb, and uh, find some more graves. Yeah, this is exciting. Cemeteries. Love it.